Hey everybody, this is Eddie Ember coming at you with another episode of You Don't Know Jack in the la last episode, which which uh, was a long time ago. Shifty eyes. I played Fashion Bill, Bill where tonight I'm doing Romantic Clip Tandem Toenail Clippers. Seconds, so Hello again, to you. I Daddy have special here. guest How many so people will be playing? One little player. Oh well, why don't you enter your name? Why don't you enter your name? Why don't you? Fly in the bush. And now I can't even spell my own name. Excellent. We're almost at places. Ten seconds. Ouch. Bunion. Run dog check, please. Six. <laughs> five. Four. Three. Two. Father. One. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, but my good friends call me Christy Yamaguchi. <laughs> Playing alone, are we? Don't worry, I'm here. Oh, and God. today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Romantic Clip Tandem Toenail Clippers. Because the couple that clips together stays together. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's like this Yeah, because the battle sucker. I won in the last game was so awesome. And not to mention that festival okay, bowling Okay, to get ball. things started, to era is human. Hey, what's going on? The Paleozoic era, the Cenozoic era, the Mesozoic era, or the Proterozoic era? So close! You were only off by millions upon millions of years. <laughs> Why didn't you pick this? The Cenozoic Era is what's been going on geologically for the last 65 million years. Ah, uh, same crap, different epoch. <laughs> yeah. Take a good look at... Menage a Tub. You know that nursery rhyme, Rub-a-Dub-Dub? -dub? What the hell are those three men doing in a tub anyway? Sounds like some sort of strange Cialis commercial. Oh Suppose God. the three men in a tub are floating along in the ocean when they hit a giant iceberg. If their survival rate is the same as the people on the Titanic, who will survive? The butcher, the butcher and the baker, the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker, or they'll all die. On the Titanic, about 1,500 people died and just over 700 people survived. So roughly one in three people survived, like the butcher. Yay! Just his luck. The butcher survives and all he has to eat is fish. Aww. Okay. Try this on for size. A profound tweet. Because he famously penned the line, brevity is the soul of wit, which author would probably be a fan of Twitter? At Oscar underscore Wild E, at Yogi Berra 8, at the underscore real um. underscore Twain, or at Shake Dollar Sign Peer? Um. You know, a quiz game is 90% mental, and the other half is filled with wrong answers. Yeah, I can't Allow me. That. Shakespeare wrote, Brevity is the soul of wit for Polonius during the second act of Hamlet. Or as Hamlet is called in tweet speak, Ham. Bucker hey. up for getting shot with a t-shirt gun. If the mascot for the San Jose Sharks wanted to mirror the feud in West Side Story, what team would he taunt with vicious finger snaps? The Houston Rockets, the New York Jets, the LA Clippers. Want to see the answer? The Jets are the rivals to the Sharks in West Side Story. So while it would be weird for wow. a hockey mascot uh. to taunt a football mascot, you can't always predict hate. But for the sake of innocent civilians, hopefully the mindless violence wouldn't escalate to drive-by dancings. You just clipped yourself. Yeah. But you know it can clip yourself and a significant other? A tandem toenail clipper! <laughs> just like the one you won from Romantic Clip Tandem Toenail Clippers. Because you can't spell cuticle without cute. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. And there yet again, go. that puts me back in the game. Where's the bomb, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Say hello to... Close the door, I'm undressing. It's a dis that. And hey, it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read you a list of seven names. For each one, you need to tell me whether it's... 
the name of a brand of ranch salad dressing, oh, right. or the name of a legal brothel in Nevada. If it's a okay. ranch dressing, press 1 on your keyboard. If it's a Nevada brothel, press 2. For each one you get right, I'll be pouring on 300 big ones. Woo. Get one wrong, and I'll strip you of 300. And since you don't seem to be wearing a watch, here. The quicker you answer, the more <laughs> cash you get in your end. Uh, the end. Okay, let's <laughs> move. Hidden Valley Ranch, Cherry Patch Ranch, Moonlight Bunny Ranch, Wishbone Ranch, oh. Chicken Ranch, oh, and what? Naturals Cowboy, Marie's Creamy Ranch. Not bad. Next time, try looking at the screen the entire time instead of trying to peek at my croutons. Oh. And of course, this goes for both of these categories. If you smell blue cheese, ask for a refund immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Round one is in the books. <gasps> and you're sitting pretty for someone so ugly. Ow! Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. Let's see what's in store. I call this one, Show Me Show the me Moony. The moon. uh, About how, how long was Neil Armstrong's, Armstrong's historic walk on the moon? As long as it takes to moon someone out your car window. As long as Michael Jackson's moonwalk song, Billy Jean. As long as the Twilight movie, New Moon. <laughs> As long as the 12 hour shift at Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Watch. I really don't. This answer is not your lover. It's just. Please don't tell me it's the Twilight that movie. It was Please the don't one. tell me it's the Twilight this movie. This would have worked. Oh. Neil Armstrong's walk on the moon was about two and a half hours long, so if you include previews and credits, yeah, it's about that. Uh. That is, unless you believe the moon landing was also just a cleverly made movie. Oh, I just didn't want to choose it and on its way, I don't like comfy the movie. in Nautica. How many Snuggies would a giant squid need in order to accommodate all of its appendages? Four Snuggies, five Snuggies, eight Snuggies, or ten Snuggies? Nice try, Calamari Brains. Oh, eight. I so wanted you to pick this one. All five. squids have eight arms plus two longer tentacles. So with two arm holes each, a squid would need five Snuggies. Oh. Of course, I only have two arms, but I have five Snuggies just for variety. Oh, bye. Bye, bye. Here's a merry eight. How about bye. Arch, your arch enemy? It's the book of choices into order and buzz in and see if you are right. Question. Okay, it's an order question, which means I'm giving out a thousand dollar bonus to anybody who gets it right. So, put these things in chronological order based on when they first appeared. The St. Louis Arch, the McDonald's Golden Arches, the Archie Comics. Archie Golden Arches Arch, Arch Golden Arches Archie, Golden Arches Arch Archie, um, or Archie Arch Golden Arches. That is... Hello! Two. Way to go, Jughead. Uh, it's, it's Next time, try four. this. Archie was introduced in 1941, the McDonald's Arches in 1962, and the St. Louis Arch was completed in 1965. Really? And after reading the scathing book on American fast food production, Fast Food Nation, I'll never be able to pick up another Archie comic book because <laughs> I realized I hate to read. Nice. <laughs> This one's called Drill Baby Drill. Oh yeah. So with all these ecological disasters happening around the world, you'd think folks would be ready to embrace alternative forms of energy. Not so. Which protest sign would you see Don Quixote carrying at an anti-environment rally? Wind turbines can blow me, solar panels aren't very bright, thermal energy leaves me cold, or waves so long to tidal power. Um. Hey, you just generated a wrong answer. Uh -huh. Here's what you meant to pick. In Cervantes' novel, Don Quixote thinks windmills are evil, ferocious giants. Really? I think Don Quixote watches too much Fox News. Hold me, never let me go. Okay, I'll, hopefully the jack attack will hit me up. Uh, catch me up. Coming up next, 
It's snowing dogs and dogs. Suppose American Idol's Randy Jackson judged an Iditarod competition. If he were judging a team with the maximum allowable number of dogs, what would he say? Yo, you six dogs a killer! Check it, you eight dogs nailed it! You twelve dogs were hot tonight! Or, listen, you sixteen dogs were dope! I have no idea what a... I... Uh... No! Be smarter! Be smarter! <laughs> the correct answer is... A musher is allowed to have up to 16 dogs in the Iditarod. Oh, I, I did a lot, At this point, yeah. they might as well just add a team of dogs to American Idol's contestant list. Like our intern Kyle here, who auditioned last season. Hey, Kyle! Sing something! If I know that I can find... Oh, God. I, apo I apologize to all my listeners out there, or viewers out there, for the obviously shattered earbuds you've all just ha got from watching this video step right up to the jack attack okay if that's how you want it here's the clue you have a nice scalp so stop, stop hiding, hiding it. it please take off your headgear when you go indoors so i think it has some cool hats uncle sam is a Oh dang, conspiracy that that was a tin tinfoil hat. Packers fans, baseball caps. Oh dang. I thought it would be baseball cap. I don't know what that would be called. The sand. I I I This one I actually know, so I'm going to get it. See the of this was oil cap. At least I got some of them. That's oh. the game! So, you probably think you have to buy a backwards baseball cap in order to wear it that way, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Anyways, let's just nice do one, one of the advertisements, and doing. then I just want to see how much money I want to proceed with continuation. Did you know that 12 cups of raw spinach has as much sodium as an order of french fries at McDonald's? Did you say as much sodium as french fries? And that 54 cups of spinach has just as many calories? As many calories as french fries? Makes you think twice about eating spinach, doesn't it? Yes. Spinach. Is it really strong to the finish? Vote no on Proposition 14H and keep spinach and other vegetables out of our schools. Poor Alice, stuck at home what? doing chores. Housework sure can be tiring, huh, Alice? But robot maids today can be so expensive. Well, why not try a reformed evil robot from the reformed robot house cleaning company? Oh, sure, these robots used to be programmed to wipe out the human race, but now they're programmed to wipe out grime and mildew. Let's watch. The mop is in the front closet, reformed evil robot. Must kill human. Excuse me? Uh, I mean, must clean bathroom. Good <laughs> evil robot. So visit the folks at Reformed Robot House Cleaning Company, where we sweep evil under the rug. Anyways. Oh, God, that was terrible. That was a terrible round. I just gave up at the end. It's like... Oh, God. Total winnings. Native 2020. 200,000... 276,038 dollars. 
Although, I got three prizes so far. I'm in my recommended reading is uh, My Name is Sticker. So far, I have the one hole fistful bowling ball, the designer wearable bell, fashion bell, and the tandem toenail clippers, romantic clip. So far, I've still got to go with the festival one hole festival bowling ball is my favorite so far. I know you're all going to launch together without. So that was my that was my episode for this week. Until next time, this is Eddie Embus signing out.